Both the Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp Willy Wonka films are nostalgic to my childhood. So the fact that we have a new version of Willy Wonka on the screen again in 2023 is quite a big deal the more I think about it. And how does Timothy Chalamet stack up as the character? I thought it was quite good. He really embraces that zany, quirky eccentricness of the Willy Wonka character. Obviously, he's not the jaded Willy Wonka yet because he's younger. He's trying to make a name for himself. He's trying to become the world famous chocolatier that we know that he's going to become. So he's a bit more naive. He's a bit more hopeful. He has the hopes and dreams and whatnot. So he doesn't resemble the Willy Wonka that we know and love just yet. So as a younger, more hopeful Willy Wonka, I thought Timothy Chalamet was pretty good. And visually speaking, the film's a treat. The production design, the costume design is all absolutely fabulous. I like how the film had kind of a chocolatey brown colour palette to it. It was obviously quite fitting and it was really visually appealing. But annoyingly and unfortunately, I'm adding Wonka to the 2023 disappointments pile because everything else in the film I just didn't really care for. Willy Wonka bands together with a bunch of forgettable side characters to help him accomplish his goals and dreams. I feel like that happens all the time now. Whenever you do a new version of a beloved character, beloved franchise, the main character, the main driving force behind the film has to be surrounded by a bunch of forgettable, quirky characters that we just don't care about. And that's exactly the case in this film. All his supporting characters did not give a crap, especially the main girl who he pals around with, Noodle very bland, super bland character. The film is a musical, which was one of the reasons I was looking forward to it and thought it had potential. And two of the songs are memorable, the very first one and the very last one. And the very last one is only memorable because the song did not originate in this film. You can probably guess what the song is. Hugh Grant as the Umpa Lumpa was something I was definitely curious about going in. And now that I've witnessed it, I mean, it's a CGI character that could have easily been played by a real human being. Don't know why they didn't do that, because every time the Oompa Lump is on screen in this film, it just stands out because it's clearly a CGI thing. And it's also not funny. The humour there, his dialogue didn't do anything for me. This film definitely leans more into the fantasy elements of the Willy Wonka character and story in comparison to the first two Willy Wonka films. Because in those first two films, they're absolutely fantasy films, don't get me wrong, but the fantasy elements were very few and far between. So when something fantastical happened, it felt kind of special. But in this one though, there's a lot more emphasis on the fantasy. And it just kind of made the film feel like kind of a cliched family film and also just a bit corny, especially the chocolate cartel, which when I heard that in the trailer, I kind of rolled my eyes. And in the film, yeah, it just came across as cartoony and a bit silly. And it stands out to me because in the first two Willy Wonka films, all the fantasy stuff, all those elements, were pretty much limited to Willy Wonka himself and everything that goes on in the chocolate factory. The outside world felt relatively normal, nothing super unbelievable. Fickle Grubu's Prod Nose and Slugworth were purely rival chocolatiers who were jealous of Willy Wonka and tried to steal his secret recipes. But in this film, the chocolate cartel straight up try to murder Willy Wonka. And they have the really exaggerated evil grins and the, the mustache twirly and it's like, <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Wonka, you'll sell no more chocolate ever again. Yeah, it was just a bit corny and I didn't care for it. And I know it's a family film before you say it. And as a family film, I'll say it's fine at best. If you take your kids to watch it, they'll be entertained and it's an inoffensive family film. It's just, I've seen better family films, mainly the first Paddington film directed by the same director as this film. I've yet to see Paddington 2. Sorry, it's on the list. Timothy Chalamet was fine as Willy Wonka and there were some good production designs, some neat visuals and some good moments sprinkled throughout the film, of course there were. But as a lifelong fan of the Charlie Machaca factory story and the Willy Wonka character, I was expecting a bit better from this film. It's not terrible, it's not awful, it's watchable. But to me, the film lacked a lot of charm and ironically, imagination.